Okay, so I'm back with an app, well, app review, so to speak. Um, just waiting, here we go. This is, oh, now why is it doing that? Sorry. This is the garage sale checkout, or as I call it, the register. Here, you have color-coded seller A, seller B. You just press one, add the person's name here, say Kim, click OK, and say for seller B, and you write, I don't know, text. Okay? And then if some, you can also, I don't know if that's close enough for you to see, you can also change the prices here. I have 25 cents, 50 cents, 75, a dollar, dollar fifty, two, three, and five dollars. Um, right here you tap on startup cash and then add in, say you started with like 20 bucks. Um, you put that in. This way you have like $20 for change whether it be, you know, singles and then maybe ask some actual change. Um, don't sort, which means it just stays as as is. Or you could sort low to high, click, you'll have $5 change, sort high, which it's actually sorted high to low now, but sort high to low, and it goes to low down to high. Um, here you, you do the same thing with that. Click, say you want 95 cents. Enter. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's $95. But you get the idea of how to change it. That's to back to 25 cents. Nope. 25 cents. Make sure you put the decimal in. Okay, there we go. Now, if somebody comes up and wants to purchase purchases something from Kim for 25 cents, you click 25... Oh no, I'm sorry. Click Kim. Wait, we click done first. Then we click Kim. 25 cents. Say text for two dollars. And some same person at the bottom of the pile has something from Kim for a dollar fifty. Three seventy-five is your total order. Three items. And total order. You can put in, say, $5 that you receive from them, enter, and you give them $1.25 back change. Complete sale, and then you get sale total. Okay, here we go. We got seller, this is the end of the day, seller Kim, $1.25 of two items, tax $2 of one item. Total sale, $3.25, that's for the overall tag sale. I didn't put in the startup cash, so. And cash drawers, 375 So, you totally made a sale, instead of just, you know. Anyway, my apologies. Um, line items, it'll show each person's name and how much. It's just a shame that you can't put, like, a little note as to you know, like, what they bought. You could just write, like, clothing or, you know, Something of that sort. Back. Um, sale total, no. Total order, no. Set up, okay. So, it also has instructions over here and a video tutorial. And I think that's all I need to cover with this. It's a very easy app to use, and I mean, Pretty much anyone could catch on to it really quick as long as you show show them. I mean, I figured it out like within five minutes how to work it. So, <laughs> but there's some things that you catch on to really that you figure out really quick, and then there's other things that just have way too much in it that you don't figure out. It's just to see like right here. I would also say like if I was the only one doing the tag sale. I might do it where, say, this is clothes, that's jewelry, this is, I don't know, like maybe children's clothes, this is um, handcrafted items, uh,
something like that, but, you know, there's, the, of the tag sales I've had so far, my mom has sold some stuff, I've had with my aunt, we've also done one at my aunt's house as well, and while that goes well, some people aren't exactly honest with, um, you know, when you have two, you know, when you have more than just one person doing the cash, you know, somebody will just sit there and say, oh yeah, well, I already paid them. And they didn't. My aunt even, you know, someone had done that and they had already, I didn't know that they had something of hers. I just saw, you know, what they had of mine because it was bigger. They had my, uh, a little bin and a scarf of hers. So, and I didn't see her scarf. So, anyway, but, you know, it would make it easier. Just have, like, two different people have like, you know, one main person to do to register stuff, or I should say the garage sale calculator, and then, you know, if some, they have to go to the bathroom or something, just have like one other person that'll know how, to, that knows how to do it for the time, or just have them tell them, the, your customer, to please hold on a moment while, you know, you come back from getting water or something. Anyway, I hope you were able to see that well enough, and that you liked the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, and if you can, make a donation. I donate any of um, anyone that donates to me, I donate the stuff to my favorite charities, which is Best Friends or the Disabled American Veterans, okay, or a literacy campaign. Anyway, talk to you later. Have a good night.